Well, Cleveland Light, obviously, there are tons of rocks, but they're all in patches. And so the fish are relating around those. They're not broad spread around. So that's when you do is a drift. But now I don't want to drift. I want to stay right on those. So by pressing a button on the remote, even a 25 foot boat, big boat, T-tops like this, that boat will stay put on that spot and not move a couple of feet. Well, I see a lot of fish right here on the bottom. So I'm going to let you control this. I like that. Here's I'm going to let the New England guy who does the fishing. New England guy, go do that. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to touch the screen. I'm going to mark a waypoint right there because I don't want to lose those fish. That's a really good spot. For all the guys that aren't anchoring, you kind of drift over these fish and you get one shot at them before you're off and then you're hoping to pick up another rock pile below you. But right now we're able to get right on top of these fish. Now it's time to black sea bass. I like about that jig, it's, if you want to talk about fishing vertically, that one's made to sit there and dart and dance. And so it's going to move down there the way the line comes off the top of the jig head. Should give me some good action. I think so. Ho, ho, ho. That just happened too. Look at the colors between the red and the green and the white. In a minute or two, if that boat does not change course, you're gonna get rolled over. But you don't have an anchor now, so the beauty is you're safer, you just move. You don't have to worry about untying a cleat, throwing a ball in or anything. All right, he, he, I think he's seen us. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. That's a keeper. Look at that. 